Hi, I'm Tony Osborne. I'm Aviation Week's London Bureau Chief and European Defence Correspondent. And I'm here at the Farnborough Air Show uh, with Mark Bernan, the Chief Test Pilot of Leonardo Helicopters. And he's here showing off the AW149 uh, Super Medium Helicopter, which is one of the uh, ent potential entrants to the UK's new medium helicopter requirement. Mark, I wonder if you could tell us, and for our uh, Aviation Week audience, you know, why this aircraft is so special and why why Leonardo thinks it's a shoe-in for the NMH programme. Uh, hi, Tony. Yep, uh, absolutely. Um, well, it is a true uh, multi-role helicopter. Uh, it's a fast, agile beast with uh, very good performance. Um, I guess for a support helicopter, the key thing really is the size of the cabin. Um, you've got to be delivering effect, delivering capability onto the battlefield. So, as you can see, when you get up close and personal, it's a very large, particularly for this class of aircraft, cabin. Um, it's a nice uniform space in there, no nooks and crannies or pylons coming through the middle. Uh, it's got a low, uh, low floor that's very easy to load troops, load cargo, load stretchers. Uh, if you did need in a seesaw roll to put stretchers in, it can take four stretchers either sideways, uh, athwart ships or, or lengthways. So the cabin itself is actually the same width as an AW101 Merlin. So it's a big space in there with good headroom. Obviously, we've got to get that capability onto the battlefield. So the aircraft itself is fast, cruises 155 knots. Uh, it's got great performance um, in terms of from a piloting perspective. Well, I was going to ask you about that because uh, I think last year I, I was at back you when did. you when you yeah. flew it and we flew around the Salisbury exactly. plane. So, what is it like to fly as a pilot? Yeah, I mean, it's an absolute joy to fly. Um, if I'm manoeuvring aggressively, tactically low level terrain masking uh, around the trees, uh, around the threats, I, I can very predictably put the aircraft exactly where I want it. Um, on Friday, I was uh, displaying the aircraft at Riyadh, and again, doing wing overs uh, and sort of display maneuvers, if you like, which do have relevance on the battlefield. Um, the aircraft is just so easy to fly. It's, uh, it's very comfortable, very smooth. As you'll remember, the vibration levels uh, in the back, the noise uh, is very low, so it's very comfortable for the troops uh, or whoever being delivered. Um, so that's, that's sort of tactically low level. If I need to get an aircraft out to theatre quickly or I need to recover back in bad weather, the aircraft has a very good icing clearance. Uh, the upper modes, the digital uh, flight control system we have on board means that I can couple it up pretty, mu pretty much like a, uh, an airliner. Uh, and then my workload is very low. Uh, and that means low workload for the pilot means I'm more involved in the mission uh, and just frees me up to fight the aircraft rather than just keep the aircraft the right way up. And how important is this program for, for Leonardo helicopters in the UK? And, and for your, particularly from your point of view? Yeah. Um, it is important, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's an important program and we're very much looking forward to pushing ahead and delivering and giving the capability to the customer. So, you know, it's part of a stable of very uh, capable aircraft that we're very proud of, uh, that we uh, obviously in the, uh, in the shadow of the 159 here, another aircraft I know very well. So, you know, it comes with great pedigree across, across, the, uh, across the fleet. Uh, and yeah, you know, it, it's the latest generation of modern battlefield helicopters. So we are very excited uh, and excited for our future UK MOD customer. Great. Thank you very much, Mike. That Thank was you, fantastic. Great. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest no, of the no. show.